in the time before the Titans, before the gods of Olympus, a great battle was waged. The wrath of the primordials. The very beings who forged the earth. Raged out of control for an eternity. And from this rage, this madness of war, the Furies were brought forth. Neither Titan nor God, mortal nor shield, the Furies were bound to no one. For they were the guardians of honor, the enforcers of punishment, the bane of traitors. When Zeus came to power, he found he had little to fear from the sisters. The Furies sought retribution only for those whom they deemed guilty. The first of these traitors was Aegean the Hecatonchores. When the brute pledged a blood oath to Zeus, only to later betray the king of the gods, the Furies were quick to take action. The sisters relentlessly hunted the Aegean, and upon capturing the creature, tortured him without mercy. For the Furies believed death was too kind for this oathbreaker. Aegean the Hecatonchores became an example to all. A special symbol for those who might think to break a blood oath with a god. Kratos, the great Spartan general, was finally defeated. Driven mad, tortured and uncertain of his surroundings, the warrior found himself captured like a fly in the web of the Furies. Never. What's wrong? You seem confused, Kratos. Having trouble remembering our special time together? <laughs> 
then again, we were rudely interrupted by my sister. A lecture was never won for manners. <laughs> Not you. I am quite skilled at teaching. Respect! For what you've taken, I owe you that. Special because Ares chose you, but you are nothing. 